Good morning, right? Good morning. So we're at the big mulch job this morning. It's Saturday, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's going to be a nice day. Yeah, nice day. So we're here for the first time, not for the first time, but we're here today to start by, we're going to clean up everything. Yeah. Get as much cleaned up, all the grass taken away, and then go dump a load. And then that time I'll probably come back and get a whole bunch of mulch and mm -hmm. start dumping it in the beds and mm -hmm. Rachel can start spreading it. Okay, let's just say our goal is two truckloads. If we get three, that would be really nice. Yeah. Four would be a bonus, but we're yeah. just gonna say two. So we'll see. Carl likes to be overzealous. Overzealous, but yes. Um. But yeah, so we're, we're getting it, but I have to prune up some roses now and uh, get the rest of the sedum. There's some branches. Is there anything in that bed down there that needs to be cleaned up? Maybe. I got to spade that one out still. So. Oh, okay. So we're going to get out and get some done. So right now I'm probably not going to record us doing because it's just cleaning up mm -hmm. um, when we go to put the mulch in. So and I'm yeah, not yeah. spading right now. Okay, so yeah. It is it is just like picking up clumps, yeah. getting out weeds, and just filling the truck as quick as we can. So, so. let's go ahead and go. So what I'm doing along here, guys, is if you see the edge of the concrete anywhere, I'm scraping it so there's actually an edge here too all the way down and we cut back all this um, lamb's ear or lamb's quarter back. Now I'm gonna have to take all this extra mulch out of here and load that up in the truck. But I'm gonna edge all this first out, then I'll rake it back. And I'll show you what it looks like after I get Okay done. guys, this bed's cleaned out. It's just gonna have to be blown. Oh man, you wanna see how much mulch I got out of this bed alone to take it down to where it's not like ridiculous? I'll show you. But this is what I pulled out of that one bed alone. About a half a yard. Rachel's working on that one. And I'm gonna go clean this up and we'll work our way around. Then get mulch. So we we're come. back. I dropped Rachel off all the way up there. I'm gonna load up this mulch as much as I can. Look, they're redoing all the sod fields out there. That's all sod out there. You can't build anything because it's um, low lying those flags all the way down there it's low lying down there that's a floodplain so you can't build so they farm and do all the sod fields down there but let me get this in and then get another hopefully this whole pile so this is the most i've put in the truck yet we're almost on the second pile hopefully i have enough beds cleaned out to come and load this up one more time before i have to put debris in but we will see let's go take this to rachel So Rachel's blowing that one in. We finished this bed. It's a little breezy out here. I guess. Yeah, that's what it always does, right? So, oh man, you can smell the ripe cow manure coming over here. So I'm gonna unload the rest of this into this bed. And then we might load up some more dirt. 
and then come back and do more malts. Okay, we're moving down along. We're just loading up all the debris now. Ow, that hurt. Then we'll come back, get more mulch. Making progress. Okay, it's break time. We're gonna go unload this. And then we'll come up, stack, load more lo mulch, two loads hopefully, to finish all the way around here. I'm gonna finish these two tree rings. And then I guess while Rachel's working on that, I gotta spade this one out. You're always grabbing something, aren't you? Yeah. Because that would be almost done just instead of you spading, so. Yeah, so we have to do all this. So I'll be able to get, this will probably take two truckloads. And then we just have all these beds here that I already spaded, see them all? And then I have to spade the burning bush, the two giant oak trees. And then I think the only other thing to spade is the fire pit over here yeah. and two little trees over there. You probably want to take this right Yeah. So, so unfortunately. You said that you were going to do the burning shrubs. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we probably won't finish the whole job until midweek, but. Yeah. It is what it is. Okay. We're not. We're not behind on any any sketch. Well, and he even said today, like, I don't want you guys killing yourself. Again, we are adults. And we know what we can handle. Yeah. Yes. But we and, do appreciate everybody. Yeah. And we are we are ahead of schedule as far as everything. We're not behind behind, so. Except we need to get our pre-emergence out, see? Look, guys. First signs yeah, of crap. Yeah, but there. that's not... That... If was you, here last year. Yeah, and we didn't put pre-emergent on parts of this yard because they tore it up for spring course. Yeah, I mean, this was, this is something that we just didn't get last year. I mean, again, yeah. crabgrass can lay dormant for like uh -huh. seven years or something. Uh-huh, crazy, crazy. Okay, guys, we're going to be mulching into the sunset. You see, I left Rachel all the way down there while I load up another thing of mulch here. So, and then we'll hopefully get two loads, but we'll see. Almost done this pile. We all out our thing, and this was a good idea. Get.
Okay, guys, we got this bed done. We got this over here done, this tree ring done. Rachel's walking around, working on around here. We're gonna load up grass. That's so this is why we like this property. Look at this sunset, guys. We'll get you while I'm cleaning up grass. Well, that's why having an outside job is like the best job ever. Definitely, right? Opinion. Look at that sunset. So we'll set you up here for a minute, guys. for the night guys we are headed home it's getting dark yeah and we won't even be able to do an ending when we get home because it will be dark right rachel wants to mulch the blue house up there <laughs> hopefully she emails us there's a lot i'm gonna follow through and just make sure she has the right number yeah so guys hopefully you enjoyed that video i gotta put my seatbelt on Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have a good night. Look at that, guys. That is Isn't it? We love living in Western North Carolina.